Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I'm looking for someone. Finding you someone is our specialty, but the club's closed. <laughs> not quite what I meant. That's too bad. I guess you'd better talk to Georgie. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. Is he, uh, alone in there? He's working with one of the dancers, but don't worry about that. Discretion is our guarantee. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Listen, you could be in danger. Oh, sweetie, we're all in danger. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. You fucking dozy bitch. I can take it from here. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? Hey. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. Leave her alone, asshole. Sure, whatever you say. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? I'm not here for that. Oh, I'm not here for that! <laughs> you just stopped in for the chips, then? Jesus, Bigby, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. 
When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? Oh, hey, if you say so. Just looks like hair to me. Anyway, even supposing she was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. I don't need the trouble. For who, then? I don't know. She had clients. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on, then! Sad fucking face where I can't see it. Bloody bastard fucking shit. You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Fuck's sake. Fuck up, hands. Hey. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now! You shouldn't have messed with that. Don't even think about it. Do not... Touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Well, well. What's this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. <laughs> oh, was it good for you, Sheriff? Next time, I'm gonna have to charge you. Jesus, you're killing me! I'm begging you, I'll pay you. Oh, 
fuck's sake. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. Bloody come on, then. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girls. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello? Business office? Yeah, that's right. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I'm here now. Yes. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? What are you doing here? Same as anyone. It's a place where I am. Where else am I supposed to be? My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. I don't give a damn about your guarantee. I need you to cooperate. This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Okay.
Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. This isn't enough, but it's all I've got. Wait here for a second. Not 207? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he. He just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. Beauty, I could honestly not care less about this. Do what you want. All right, jeez. I thought since you didn't tell Beast you saw me, you cared how I felt. But I guess not. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but... she came off a tad intimidating. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see you report. It's just... Well, you never know. Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it?
never sure why they have desks in a place like this. You get health inspectors through here very often? I don't know. What do you think? Finding what you're looking for? I wasn't expecting much in here. But isn't this why you're here? Why you have the key? No. The key was just to be sure I found the right hotel. This isn't the room Lily was using. Oh. So, are we done now? No. The room they met in was 207. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. Please. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no! Wait a minute! How could you do this? We've been together through everything! I took care of you! I love- It's not what you think! Please! You're cheating on me! With him?! No! No, Beast! I promise I'm not! I'm helping him, that's all! I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! Beast, stop this, right now! This isn't the way to handle things. What do you know? You don't have anybody! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- uh, Hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! We don't have to do this. Just calm down and- Beast! What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Bigby! I told you! You don't want to see this. Well, we got the door open. <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this... is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... It must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah? I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty? What? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. 
I work the front desk. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But- Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Looks like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. We shouldn't even be in here. He brought wine. Classy. This dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. What is it? The dress in the closet is the same as the one in this picture. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. I guess he wanted to get the details right. God, role-playing as a person who really exists, who we know, that's just weird. I'm not sure who to feel worse for. Okay, no, I take that back. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. Oh no. What? What is it? Just looking at this page with snow in the coffin, I think Smith may have an obsession with death. He's obsessed with snow, and obsessed with death. Oh my god, that poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. So scared.
Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? There's a bite out of the apple. Could be Mr. Smith got hungry after he killed Lily. Had himself a little snack. Jesus. He really is a cold-blooded sociopath, isn't he? God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff, too. Stopping for a snack after you cut off somebody's head is just inhuman. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. He could be after you now. Good! I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel! I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Bigby. Take care of it, Bigby, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you?
Thank you.